before we do anything, I have bad news. We have to dig on out of here. I know, shame, we were so close to beating Mount Moon, but it turns out, I think you, the people in the comments, actually I'm very mad at the people in the comments for doing this, but they pointed out that Electabuzz is in fact illegal. Now here's what I was going through my mind while I'm picking out the new egg, was um, I was thinking, okay, so you can't actually get uh, Ella Kid until after you beat the Elite Four. So obviously if you bred an Electabuzz, it's going to evolve into, or it's going to hatch into an Electabuzz. Completely void in my mind was the fact that you can't actually breed Pokemon in this game until after you beat Delia 4 and Elekid would be available, so... Oops. Didn't realize that. My bad. So, um... Yeah. Uh, we're gonna take a Pokemon from Box 1, and we will take... Um... Let's take this one. I don't know, I just... I really hope we get like another Electric type would be really nice, or a Grass type. Just something that can help us against Misty would be very very useful. And I'm so sad we don't have like the buzz anymore because with Thunder Punch and Ice Punch I mean I know I have like 50 freaking ice moves at this point but oh man that would have just been so amazing or he Thunder Punch I I miss him so much I believe he learns Cross Chop as well and it's really I'm just trying to get across the point that I really miss my Electabuzz. I loved my Electabuzz in Fire Red Omega he was really good and I wish he didn't die but he did and my new egg is going to be an Auron Oh, uh, okay. You know what? I'll accept that. Let's name you, um... Uh, let's name you... Uh, Hockey. Because I can, because he's wearing a hockey mask, because he's amazing like that, so... Okay, we're going to nickname him Hokey instead. Because, <laughs> uh... Oh, really quick, let's make sure this guy is, in fact, legal. He, uh, has Pokerus, as every freaking Pokemon here seems to have Pokerus. And Tackle and Water... Water Pulse? Water Pulse... One second, I won't, like, 99% sure. I'm pretty sure Agron could actually learn Surf, but I have a feeling that Auron cannot learn Water Pulse, so give me a... Okay, so this may not surprise you, but he can't actually learn Water Pulse. And I know some people are going to say, well, you could just not use Water Pulse, because that's what people said about Bulbasaur with me putting him in a box, but I... I don't know, I just... I want to use completely legal Pokemon. I mean, I made it pretty... I don't know what people are thinking, sending in hacked Pokemon, but... I mean, freaking... No, Nidoking? Really? 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 Just... Uh, Alright, let's try this again. Let's get a legal Pokemon this time. Let's try Box 2, and we'll just take this one. I don't know. Why not? I hope it's not a why not. That would really make me upset, because I don't want a Wobbuffet. I really don't want a Wobbuffet. Why not? Because Wobbuffet sucks. That's why. Okay? Actually, Wobbuffet. I, I'm, like, trying to think. I get, like, the why not puns. Like, why not? I'm, like, trying to figure out. Is Wobbuffet a pun, and I'm just, like, too stupid to realize it? It, I don't think it is. It doesn't sound like it, but Wobba Fett. I wobble, 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 wobble Fetty. It's it's wobbling confetti. Son of a bitch! What? <laughs> Why? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Oh. <laughs> I hate this egg walk so much. I hate you all. You, you all are just trying to make my life horrible right now, aren't you? I really, and Espeon, Espeon. <laughs> I think I actually like know who sent this in too, because I remember when I was talking about the, it's like the Scarmie and the Bulbasaur are illegal. I think she sent a comment like, oh no, I sent in an Espeon. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was illegal. It was actually, I think it was actually a female. A female did this to us. That monster. All right, let's try box three this time. <laughs> Four minutes in, and this has literally just been nothing but trying to find a legal Pokemon. Well, I could have just stuck with Aron, yes. Like I said, you know, I wanted to just... I know I'll, like, accidentally use Water Pulse, and I want to have legit Pokemon, because the people who send in a hack Pokemon... Well, I appreciate their effort. Their Pokemon don't deserve to be used, because they were created, like, in some weird mysterious dungeon. You saw what happened when you t uh, when you mess with Pokemon DNA. You know, you, do, you know what Mewtwo did, man? He tried to mess people up. I don't want my Aron doing around trying to mess me up, so... Bang on! Okay, if you're freaking hacked, I swear. No, I'm. Oh. <laughs> okay, so another Suedo Dragon actually really sucks that I have two now. Um, oh, I was gonna name him Bacon, but <laughs> I already have Baco, so um, I'm gonna name you. Um, I'm just gonna type in random words here. Curon. Curonis. Yeah. Okay. Please be legal. Please be legal. Please be legal. 
And Dragon Claw, Bite, Ember, Double Edge. While the old move set is a little overpowered, I don't care. It is legal. That is all that matters to me at this point is that it's a freaking legal move set. So I might actually put Drutini in the box when we get something when we get something else, because Drutini just I don't think Drutini gets like a single good move until it becomes Dragonite and can start winning T like all the decent HMs. So I think I would much rather have Bagon on my team. And there's always the opportunity to go back and train Dratini later, but Having to go all the way up to level 55 to get a useful Pokemon uh, does not really excite me very much. So once we hatch a new Pokemon and we get something that's not another freaking water type or hopefully not like another Suedo Dragon. Actually, no, I think uh, we bought we got both the Suedo Dragons in this game now, so we can't get actually get any more because uh, Generation 2, there was no Suedo Dragons. There was just T-Tar. Or, yeah, T-Tar, that's his name. <laughs> so awesome. Looks like we... Really? 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 What are you going to do to me? Don't you dare sing. Okay, yeah, growl me. Please hit this thing. Why do we get growled and he doesn't get poisoned? Oh, wow. Good job, Moon. You did a fantastic job. So, um, I should probably start doing some switch training. And now that we finally got that horrible hatching situation out of the way. God, that was a nightmare. Um, a little story. This is actually not the first time I recorded this video. And no, that doesn't mean that I ended up, like, getting swept or something, okay? So... I was starting to do the video and I was about 10 minutes in or so and it was just I don't know you know it was just seemed to be going really badly I don't really feel get this way too often but I when I was doing this video oh, I didn't want to use smog I just got this really like I don't want to say bored because it wasn't bored but I just got this feeling of like wow this is going extremely horrible and the co I could tell just by listening that my commentary was really really bad in this video I was like absolutely panicking for words I couldn't think of anything to say and a lot of the times you know when I can't think of anything to say I'll just start ranting about some random thing and that wasn't really working this time because I even tried doing that and I just could not think of anything at all like there was just nothing in my mind to talk about so after about like 10 or 12 minutes I'm like this is a horrible horrible video we're just gonna I'll just stop and try it again later and that's what I did I stopped recording I went out, you know, I went for a walk, listened to some music, had some fun. I didn't have fun. I don't have fun. <laughs> and now I'm trying this again. Now, I ne I've never actually done this before, but I thought since I was having such a hard time thinking of things to talk about, I would try something new. And I actually opened up a notepad file and I wrote down some, like, things to talk about. In case I start running out of ideas and I'm, like, starting to panic, I have, like, a list of things that I could talk about. So, we shouldn't have that problem and you guys should be seeing this video. Unfortunately, in the last video, the first egg we hatched was legal, so that was a bit annoying. If you're curious, it did hatch into a Teddy Ursa, but, you know, it's not like we can use it now, because I don't remember where the Teddy Ursa was anyways, so I can't just, like, magically go back and get it again. I know it was in Box 2. I know that much. But I don't remember which egg in Box 2 it was, so it really, like, would have just been a random guess if we were just happened to get it again, which we did not, so... Oh, well. Not in... Did I already... Did I already take on this big fat dude? I don't remember if I have or not, so just in case, let's try battling him, because I... Hey, get back here. Okay, I already beat him. I believe we got up to the first Team Rocket guy, and that's as far as we've gotten, so... Um, yeah, like, this is actually the first time I've ever re-recorded a video before. Even, like, when I thought the video commentary wasn't that great, I still put it up, because it's like, well, you know, I can't just... I... Yeah, I'm just pretty much like too lazy to do it again. I still like thought at least part of it was somewhat decent. But I mean, when I was doing this earlier, it had to be like probably like one of the most dull, boring videos I've ever done. It was that bad. It was really just horrible. So I think I made a good decision in deciding to just stop, you know, get my mind on something else, not focus on it for a while and come back to it later because now I'm doing it again. And I feel like this one is definitely going much better so far. Might have helped that for six minutes we were trying to hatch an egg, and so it gave me something to talk about. I don't know, but... Uh, and now this little story's giving me something to talk about, so... Uh, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Now, that actually brings me to a, something else I was going to say in the last video. Uh, there was a bit of a little commotion, I guess you could call it, in the comment section. 
where pretty much like three guys were just having this huge war kind of thing and i will admit it was like between someone named um dunsparce someone actually like i changed their account name to moon the nidoran which i think is hilarious that someone actually did that and a third person i don't remember um i want to think it was like someone with i you know i can't even remember but and you know their little arguments were fun at first but when over half of 400 comments is literally the same three people and you get like a new comment every 30 seconds from one of them it gets really annoying really old really really fast so I like the fact that you guys had some fun in the comment section but I please I still don't do that again like seriously it would just it got really stupid really fast but it actually did get some attention because I had a few different people tweet tweet me about it like mentioning it and um, someone's like, oh my god, it's finally safe to come out again, the war is over. So that just goes to show that you were annoying multiple people when you did that, so... Please never do that kind of thing. Spamming someone's comments is, like, always a rude thing to do. Oh, I knew it! I've said it before! I will always say it! Rattatas are crit machines. I don't understand why they always get critical hits, but they do! They always get critical hits! It is so ridiculous! Like... I am 100% sure that their crit hit ratio is higher than the average Pokemon. I just... Oh god, no. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. See? See that right there? Did you see that? Oh, they're clean from Iowa. Oh, no, 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 why do you do this to me, game? I just backs up my theory. Rattata always, always gets critical hits. It's like not even an argument. It's literally just a fact. Rattata is like an increased crit hit ratio. I can't tell you how many times I've tried doing like a Nuzlocke of Fire Red or Leaf Green. And I would just be doing fantastic. Then all of a sudden, Rattata would come along, use Quick Attack, get a critical hit, and ruin my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really upset right now. I'm really, really quite actually upset by that, so... Do I need to heal up? Yes, I really need to heal up. Um, man... I really wanted a wall rain. I really did. I... I can't believe the first Pokemon we lost was my starter, too. I can't believe we already lost a Pokemon in Mount Moon. I mean, at least in Fire Red Omega, which is actually, like, a lot more difficult than this. When I did Fire Red Omega, I mean, at least I made it to Misty before I lost my Grovile, so... <sighs> why, why, Rattatas? Why? Arr. Darn. Um, well, that just... As I was probably saying, I don't... I don't even remember that. Arr. Please don't do another little comment war in my comments, because that actually got really annoying. And it was like at a point where I really like wanted to block the Dunsparce person because he was annoying the crap out of me with all his comments. I mean, I would imagine that like out of the, like the 400 comments on that video, it probably like a hundred of them are his, and that's a little ridiculous. So, if you guys do that again, where you literally spam like 50 to 100 comments on my video, I will block you. Okay, I'm not trying to be mean. I've never blocked anybody. Okay, I've blocked one person before, but. Seriously, it was annoying and it just just really got on my nerves. So please don't do that again. I we won't have any problems. Thank you. Go do it on freaking Hayden's video where no one will notice, okay? Because people actually notice those things when I, I don't get like five thousand comments in the first day. Poison gas, I bet yeah, I have like ten antidotes, so I'm fine. Not to mention there's an antidote like right after this battle, because the game realizes you're probably gonna get poison. So they're like, hey, here's an antidote, yay. So that's nice of them. I mean imagine if they didn't give you an antidote. Oh, wait, what? Moon's already evolving? I thought... I thought Nidoran didn't evolve till 24. Oh. Wow. I'm actually going to take a second and look at Nidorino's moveset, and if he doesn't have any moves I'm interested in learning by level up, then we're just going to get a Nidoking King right frickin' now. Because that's going to... That's... Yeah, why not, you know? Why not? <laughs> not why not. Oh, God, let's not start that again. Um, so I'm going to go do that really quick. One second... Okay, so I decided I'm going to keep Nidorino until level 22, because at level 22 he'll get Horn Attack, which seems like it could be a useful move. I mean, base 65 power, um, it just seems like it would be a good option. And then I'm going to evolve him, because also at level 22 he'll get Thrash, which 
Uh, Nido King will get thrashed, not Nidorino. And I'm not 100% sure, actually, if I'm going to take Thrash because I'm not really a big fan of lock-in moves like Thrash and Petal Dance. And, like, is Petal Dance the lock-in move? Uh, or is Petal Dance the one that, you know, yeah, Petal Dance is the one that's lock-in move. I was thinking of Leaf Storm that lowers your special attack. So, yeah, well, 22 is going to be when I evolve him. I don't know if I'm going to give him Thrash or not. Um, mainly because I really want to use this as a special attacking Nidoking, King, even with his adamant nature. Um, I, he doesn't have Sheer Force. I don't believe he has Sheer Force. Uh, I don't, I think he loses his Poison Point when he evolves. He might still have Poison Point. I don't know anything about freaking Nidoking's. Kings, okay? Just leave me alone. I, also, I'm kind of curious if Horn Attack is even worth having, because, um, I know someone gave me, like, a moveset I should use for him, and they said to use... Uh, Mega Horn, which I believe Nidoking will learn at 43. Earthquake, which I'll have to use Dig until I beat Giovanni. Um, the Sludge Bomb, or I think it's whatever you get from Koga. Or you might get Toxic from Koga, I don't remember. The, the strongest Poison type move, and I don't remember what the fourth move they said is, but apparently I'm supposed to be using physical attacks on this guy whether I want to or not, so yeah, that's disappointing. And, um... <clears throat> A lot of people have been saying I should use the pinwheel cause in Route 4, and I'm like, well, should I? Oh, actually, um, let's go back here. I don't want to miss out on these move tutors. I think I would rather teach someone Mega Kick. I'm pretty sure that um, Nido Reno. Oh, wow, Nido Reno can't. I bet Nido King can. Now I kind of want to evolve him now and just give him Mega Kick instead of Horn Attack. Because Adamant Nature, Mega Kick. Ay, yi yi. Before I do that, I will check, because this is going to be another one of those videos where I pause a lot, okay? Just... Alright, so he can learn Mega Kick and Mega Punch. Mega Kick is the one with 120 power and 75 accuracy. Mega Punch is 80 power, but 85 accuracy, so... Uh, I don't know. Both of those are better than Horn Attack. And I mean, when am I really going to use Horn Attack now that I'm thinking about it? I mean, normal moves aren't exactly the most useful thing in the world, so... You know what? Yeah, we're going to evolve him right now. Level 16. Because I can. I don't know which move I'm going to teach him. Um, I believe I like the moves that I right, have right now for the most part. You know, uh, Peck, Double Kick, and Dig all are doing a decent amount of damage at this point in the game. Especially, I love Double Kick. So, what is his fourth move? I want to think it's like Poison Sting, but that doesn't seem right. It is Focus Energy. Okay, um, let's give him... Mega Kick, yeah. Um, if I'm going to be using a normal type move, I'm probably just going to be using like the most powerful one. So let's go with Mega Kick and we'll get rid of Focus Energy. We probably won't keep Mega Kick that long. Um, I, s I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this Nidoking King yet. So anyways, as I was saying, a lot of people are saying I should use the Pinwheel Clause on Route 4. For those of you who don't know, Pinwheel Clause is a clause I created, which I probably didn't create, but I came up with the awesome name for it. Where if a route is separated into two sections and they have different catch lists, you can have catch Pokemon on each one. It's named after the Pinwheel Forest in black and white, in black two and white two, because it has inner and outer. And I've been realizing the set, the first half of Route Four, its catch list, if you want to get technical, doesn't actually exist. So I don't know. This may be a controversial decision, but I'm going to count the second half of Route Four as a different place because it actually is grass and. The first part of Route 4's catch list is literally just like a magic carp. So, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna catch this Spiro, and it's gonna be our newest Pokemon, hopefully, to replace Dratini. I I don't want to risk Emmering again. Let's just try catching it now. I have three Pokeballs. I will be able to buy more in Cerulean before we go and take on any more Pokemon. Thankfully, one, two, three. Awesome. All right, we got it on the first try. I was a little worried it might give us some trouble. But it was nice and easy for us. So I'm not even going to bother nicknaming it because I can't be bothered to type ticket at the moment. But now let's move on to Cerulean City and we will go hatch our new egg. And then we're going to be taking on Gary. I know, that seems a little risky, huh? Oh, and we got to put our dead Pokemon in there. Sad face. I forgot all about it. Our first dead Pokemon. Uh, wow, we have like way too many boxes. I'm going to nickname, I'm going to name this box dead. 14 boxes and like half of them are being used. That's really kind of a first for me. So, oh, uh, Doorbell, I'm so sorry, man. You were so amazing. Uh, let's go find the Spiro. Where did that Spiro go? There he is. Okay. Spiro, let's take a box. 
Let's take this one. Yeah, that, that seems like a good one. And let's hatch this egg. Hopefully, I'm still looking for something to help me against um, Misty. Because as of right now, it's not looking very good. Um, I'm a little scared. The Starmie is such a freaking monster. And I don't really worry about Staryu. Because for some reason, all Staryu ever seems to do is Harden and then Swift. So... But Starmie is very dangerous. I actually think, I don't remember, but I want to think Starmie actually is Ice Beam. I think it has like Water Pulse, Ice Beam, Rapid Spin, and Recover. Although it might not have Ice Beam, because that actually does seem a little powerful this early in the game. Anyways, our newest hatch is... Oh, Lapras. Interesting. Uh, hopefully this one might actually be legal. Let's name you... You are a boy. I was about to name you Betty. Um, let's name you... Um, I don't know. Beto. Because I can. It's the guy version of Betty now. Okay. Doorbell. Oh my god, no. Oh. Oh. It was paying homage to Doorbell. It is... Water Gun, Growl, Sing, and Ice Beam. This seems very familiar to someone else's moveset. <laughs> but... So many freaking water types, man. I really need something else. Anyways, let's get it up to level 10 and enjoy yet another freaking water type. This is like my fourth water type. I know I have Totodile, I had Doorbell, Mist, and no thank you. And I have Poliwag in reserve. And yeah, so this would be my fourth one. So nice, because that's totally necessary in an egg walk run where you have to take on Misty. Luckily, we'll be able to catch two Pokemon before this. I don't think we can get any Pokemon at Cerulean yet, because you don't get the Old Rod until Vermilion. But, um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to be... Okay, I better actually heal up. I better pay attention and do my job. Um, we're going to be taking on Gary, and then we'll probably end the episode there, and then we'll go catch some Pokemon next time. So... Yeah, are we going to be able to take on Gary without losing any Pokemon? I am a little worried I might be kind of under-leveled. Wait, how close is Toto to leveling up? Because, okay, he evolves in 8... Or does he evolve at 18? I don't remember if Totodile evolves at 16 or 18. Might help if I actually put him into front of party. Uh, if he evolves at 16, then that would be really nice. If he doesn't evolve at 16, then we'll just have to take on Gary. With the Totodile, and it's not the end of the world because we do have Ice Beam, and that will be very useful. And we do have Water Gun, and that'll be very useful as well. So, does he? Okay, so he, he either evolves at 17 or 18. I don't know why Totodile evolves so late in this game, but whatever. Let's go take him on. Hey guys, it's Rufus. Yo, Hardy, you're still strong and long back here. I'm doing great. I got a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me show you what I got. So if I remember from my memory, he has a level 17 Pidgeotto, level, I think 15 or 16 Rattata, level 15 Abra, and a level 18 Starter Pokemon, which in this case is a Charmander. So, um, that's nice. Let's hope we don't miss Ice Beam. Okay, well, we actually hit it. I was really pretty much, like, guaranteed we were going to miss it. That did not do very much. Okay, that's a little scary seeing how little that did. I know it did over half, but considering that, like... Uh, you know, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm like really freaking scared now. So, I'm going to have to do a bunch of grinding for my lower level, like my Suedo Dragon Pokemon. And I don't know if I'm gonna worry about grinding Lapras right now because I do have Toto, and he's kind of freaking amazing. So, let's let one of my weaker Pokemon take on um, Abra because all Abra has is Teleport, which is kind of freaking funny. But then it turns into a Gadabra in the next battle, and it kind of ruins your life. So got to be careful about that but actually as long as we have charcoal um i don't think his cadaver can like even touch us because we can just shadow ball it to ruin it and yeah so ooh, let's try using moon this whole time i was thinking like we'd have to use totodile and water gun but now i'm realizing we have stab dig and with like the apparently super amazing adamant nature we should be able to do a lot against charmander so let's see how much dig does i'm a little worried it won't do enough Oh, it one-shotted it. I should have known. Awesome. So we made it through our third rival battle without losing anybody. We still do have the dead doorbell. I miss him very much. 
<gasps> you're dumber than a door. Oh no, I was I was like thinking of a phrase like for some reason dead doorbell seemed to like ring like some kind of memory to me and I'm like isn't there like some stupid saying about like a doorbell being dead and I realized like this thing is you're dumber than a door nail one I don't even know what a door nail is and I just kind of realized I didn't get to talk about any of the thing pretty much and nothing I wrote down to talk about I actually got a chance to talk about so I think I did a much better episode job in this video than I did in the one that you guys will never see so hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well until next time thank you for watching oh Tell me which eggs you guys would like me to hatch in the next one. Say, like, box two. Actually, no, don't do that because you guys can play the safe file and you could go see what they are. So I'm just going to keep picking them blindly. Uh, next time we'll be going up, catching two new Pokemon, training for Misty, maybe taking on Misty. I don't know. It depends on if we get something that's actually strong against her. If not, then I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, so until then, yeah, I'm hardy. Bye.